Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would do some planning for next month. So it is already mid-November, it has gone by super quickly. And I thought I would just plan for December. So budgeting, goals. So my goals I've split into three categories. So I've got my goals for YouTube, um, personal goals and festive goals. So personal goals will be kind of like, um, like finance, um, just like habits, that kind of thing. Then YouTube goals, obviously how often I still want to upload, like my channel's growth that kind of thing. And then festive goals, so obviously what I want to do next month. So I always kind of like plan to do like really cute things, but I never actually like follow through with them. So I thought if I wrote them down, I kind of planned when or like what kind of time I'm going to do them, then that would definitely help. So I thought you might want to plan along with me. This could be like inspiration for some cute seasonal activities or just like goals in general. So I've got my got my notebook um, I'm gonna write it down on here and then I think I want to find like a notion template to put it all in but I don't really know how I want it to look like I haven't decided like in my mind what I want my like December plan to look like because I've got my like notion content planning template but I kind of want to incorporate like the whole month into like one spreadsheet if that makes sense but anyway, I'll write it down first. So I've started with some just like simple achievable goals. So the first one being is upload twice a week, which I have been doing almost every week so far. There have been a couple of instances where I've like missed a couple of uploads, but that's fine. It happens. Um, so my like frequency goal is just to continue uploading twice a week. And then my subscriber count by the end of the month is 1100 which is just a tiny bit over 100 subscribers gained in the month, which I think is definitely doable. Um, I'm literally only like four or five away from a thousand. And that was my like starter goal, if that makes sense. So super close to hitting that. So I think I could probably gain another hundred in the month of December. And then the biggest one, which is probably gonna be the hardest is to get 4,000 watch hours in the month because that's a lot. So we're well, not like to get to 4,000. So I'm at like 700 at the moment. So I need 3,300, um, which is a lot. I don't know how many minutes that is. I could probably work it out. 198,000 minutes. And that's quite a lot. And then how many views? So divide that by two. That's 100,000 views. And if I'm gonna upload twice a week, hmm. it's definitely doable but I don't know if it will happen straight away. So that'd be an average of 12,375 views per video. So it's not like impossible, but it's probably quite hard to achieve given that my my videos range from like 500 to 1,000 videos, um, views at the moment. So it's gonna be a tough one, but I'm not gonna rule it out. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. So that's what we're going for by the end of this month. And then for personal goals, so just like goals for myself, is I want to do more intentional exercise. So I haven't been exercising at all, really. I mean, apart from my job where I'm stood up all day, that is really the only exercise I get. So I do have a gym membership. So I want to do more classes at the gym or just go and like run on the treadmill, do the stairmaster for a bit. Um, so I want to use the gym more. And it's a nice gym, like they've got a sauna, they've got a swimming pool, like there's no reason for me not to go. It's a 10 minute drive, like it's not a long drive, but it's longer than it used to be because I used to only live like five minutes away from it. I keep dropping my pen lid. So that's like the excuse that I keep giving myself is that it's like kind of far away, even though it's like really not. Maybe like a 10 minute drive, maybe like 15 depending on traffic, maybe like 20. So use my gym membership more, do more intentional exercise, even like go outside and walk more because it's like nice crispy weather, the leaves are falling. Um, yeah, so just do more exercise. Obviously is always the goal, but I never 
actually make the effort to do more exercise. And then my next one for personal is continue to budget for the month. So in my last video, I showed a bit about what I've started doing to budget my spending. And I downloaded just like a budgeting tracker on Notion. And it's just really helpful to see exactly what comes in and goes out and where it goes. And this month is probably the month that, like the only month this year that I haven't touched my credit cards. I haven't spent any money on them. I haven't really gone over my spending. Like I did use the little bit of like backup money I had to do some Christmas shopping because I really was at like the edge of my budget this month, but I didn't use any credit cards. And that is the main goal is to not spend money on them. So they go down because I'm just, I just think it's free money and then I forget that I have to pay off at some point. So I've removed them from Apple Pay. I haven't had them on my phone actually since I got a new one in September. But yeah, so is to pay off my credit cards and not spend on them. That's fine. So that is, we are achieving that one. Um, so it's just a continue to budget um, just to make sure I know where my money's going and to make sure I've got money in my account for when each bill comes out. Most of them come out on the first of the month, but some of them are like in random places. Like I've got one for Klarna um, that comes out on like the, the 19th or something like random like that. So just to make sure I've got that in my account. And then I've got another goal, which could be considered as part of my YouTube goals, but I've just considered it into like personal. And that is spend more time planning content and just my weekend in general because I find myself just like moping around a lot of the time like on TikTok and I lie there and I'm like oh I can't really bother to do anything but I feel bad that I'm not spending this time more productively because I am just like sat on TikTok doing nothing so I feel like if I planned my week or my days ahead more effectively then that would kind of reduce that. I have still got the screen time thing on for TikTok so I've limited it to an hour a day. Admittedly, I do just normally turn it off when I get that notification, but it does mean I'm being more mindful about the amount of time that I am spending on TikTok. So sometimes I do come off of it when I get that notification that I've used it for an hour. And I don't think I've really spent any more than like two hours a day on it recently, which I know is still a lot of time, but it's definitely a lot less than it used to be. And within that, because I still work full time, I need to kind of like plan which days I'm gonna use for filming and then like which days I'm gonna use for editing because like today's video, I've kind of left it up until the last minute. So I'm filming it today and I'm editing it today and I'm uploading it today. So I'd rather have like a batch of content ready to edit and then have it like scheduled in advance. So I'm not like always kind of like trying to keep up with myself. So be more organized generally is the, is the goal for that one here. And then finally, the more fun portion of my December goals. So festive goals. So I've got at the top of my list is go to the Exeter Christmas markets and just Christmas shopping in general, because they have a hotel chocolate or chocolat, however you want to pronounce it, cafe. So we went into the, our local like, hotel chocolat, chocolate shop, and they were telling us that they have a new cafe that's just opened in Exeter. So we just really want to go to that. Um, and Exeter is just like a bit nicer than kind of our like shopping center. I mean, it isn't, there's just like more in Exeter basically. So I want to go to Exeter for Christmas shopping and just have like a nice Christmas, like festive day. So I need to like put that down on my calendar somewhere. And then I've got baked seasonal cookies. So I do really like baking and I actually am quite good at baking. So I've got baked some seasonal cookies. So I want them to like look festive. So either like bake some like Christmas trees and like decorate them, that kind of thing. And then I've got look at Christmas lights. So like I want to do the stereotypical have a hot drink, drive around, look at the cute festive lights. But I never really know like where to drive around. So I'm gonna have to do maybe a little bit of research into that first, but I want to do that. Go and look at Christmas lights with a hot drink. And then also I just wanna have like a Christmas cozy movie night. So Christmas snacks. So we normally get the like M&S like Christmas food. It's so good. It's like a little treat at Christmas time. Um, although we have started doing like a bi-monthly shop 
uh, M&S. But yeah, so nice festive food. Actually, having said that, I also want to try and incorporate maybe like a monthly roast dinner into our like meals because we never have roast and I think I want to... Well, I'm going to write that down actually. Festive roast dinner, but like not like a not like on Christmas day, but like just like somewhere in December. Okay, I've written that down. And then lastly, I want to do some festive crafts. So I keep seeing TikToks of people like painting Christmas mugs or doing clay. And for one of my Christmas presents that I want to give to somebody else, I want to do like a little like a clay project. Um, I'm not gonna say what it is or who it's for in this video in case they see it, but I will probably film it when I do it because it's so cute. Um, so yeah, I wanna do a clay project, so that'll probably be in one of the upcoming videos. But yeah, that sums up my December goals. So what I want to do now is try and make it into like some sort of like mood board or like calendar or something. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research on maybe Notion or I might do like a good notes page on my iPad for it. I'm not sure. I think I'll do a good notes page for it actually because then I can customize it and also make it into like a mood board as well. Sadly, I can't print anything because I can't get my printer to connect to the Wi-Fi. So I do have like a little board up here just behind my TV that I wanted to like stick it to, but I can't figure out how to use my printer. So I'll just keep it on my iPad, I guess. But I'm gonna try and find I just don't know how I want to lay it out. We'll have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, I've actually given up a good notes because it sucks. Okay, it won't let me zoom in with my fingers. I've just had enough. Okay, so I'm going back to Notion and we're going to just find like a, a template of some kind. So I found this notion which actually seems like really good and in depth so it's got like weekly things it's got like morning afternoon evening to-do lists goals for the day but i don't know how to do one for the month but i'll definitely use this um it's got like personal but i don't know how to tether like a monthly goal to like the month ahead if that makes sense Productivity. Oh, here we go. Goals. Oh, okay. Okay, this is perfect. So I don't have any like work slash study, so I can rename this. I don't like that none of it's capitalized though. That's kind of annoying. And festive. I'm gonna change that. Did the fine. Uh, calls it personal. So what did we have? Okay, so I've popped them all in this section of this life planner that I just downloaded. I'm actually shocked that it's free, to be honest. There's so much in this. Um, I don't know how this tethers to December as a month, because it's also got weekly goals here, but it could just be like goals in general, maybe. It'd be nice if there was a shortcut from like December, if that makes sense, but this is more of just like a widget as opposed to like the page's focus. But it's still really good. Also, I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. Pomodoro timer. Mm, don't know. Oh, that's cute. Nice. What else have we got on here? We've got leisure. Watch list reads i don't really read that much oh wow you can even like this is crazy i am actually shocked this is free you've got meal plans 
Wow, this is actually crazy. I wonder what the tags are for. Wow, this is so cool. Fitness plan. Ooh, this is like a whole calendar. And this one actually comes with its own like finance tracker as well, which is really cool. I wonder... Hmm. That's really cool. Well, this wasn't meant to turn into a promo for this random little Notion widget, but if anyone is interested, I don't know why I just like smacked my thing there. Um, if anyone is interested, it's just called Life Planner. Um, I just searched up like monthly planner. Um, and yeah, this came up. So let's just test if it links to like each day. So if we click on the 24th, I'm right. Um, have breakfast. Cool. So that's on the 24th. Does it disappear if we go back to today? Okay, no. It's. Oh, I didn't realize it wasn't for you. Not that intelligent. So these just are static. It's not linked to the calendar itself. But that's fine. This is actually just like super super useful i'm glad i discovered this it's got like this week i guess you just erase it and start again which is like slightly disappointing but this already has like so much content in it that's it's just so good anyway went on like a random tangent there but yeah that is my december planned i'm really hopeful that i can reach a lot of these goals and if you wanted to follow along and see if i do then please feel free to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one